Hey, what's up guys, it's Seals. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day with patch 1.2. Um, hope you guys also, if you, if you did your summons, hopefully you got lucky as well. The holiday season is here and you know, I just hope that you guys are safe and having a blast. And with that being said, I know we gotta talk about Albedo. We've been having fun with him over at twitch.tv slash Ambitions. I mentioned this during the live stream. I wanna give back once again, not because I'm loaded or anything like that. Um, you know, I have I have enough, right? I don't need to have C6 Albedo. Um, I'd rather just, you know, give it back to the community by... It's not much, guys. I'm sorry. I can't help I can't help everybody. It's what it is, but it's the holiday seasons, and I want to pick two comments from this video onwards. Every video that I make until the 25th, my time, 26th in the US. So until then, every video that I make, I'll pick two people from the comment section genius so to enter it's very simple subscribe to this channel um follow me over at twitch and yeah just leave a comment saying you're free to play and what you are doing in dragon spine or with patch 1.2 now with that being said let's get right into the hq where albedo is waiting for us can we start with this we're gonna talk about like the tldr of numbers and things like that but can we start with this this guy is fucking pretty what I did not see any trailers. What? He draws different pictures on his sketchbook. I don't know what that is. It looks like a cat. <laughs> Anyways, he draws Dragon Spine or I guess the cat. I didn't know he draws that. If you're paying money for this, though, this pretty boy, you're getting the whole deal. You're getting his clothes and um, a broken elevator as <laughs> well. Okay, let me do that again. Oh, shit. Bruh. Fuck. Time out, time out. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't go as planned. Genius. But I don't think I'm any genius. So let me just show you guys my, um, about Albedo. I know it's not the right way to pronounce it, but it's just what it is around the air. He's a bay. Literally. So, let me just show you guys my attributes here. Um, yeah, Constellation Zero for my free-to-play boys. Um, attributes, I left it at 80. I can go all the way. I have so many more EXP cards and things like that. I have the Moras um, all lined up. And talents are looking at 566. Six. As for the artifacts, we're gonna go with the four-piece Petra. Some are really well rolled, like this feather right here. I mean, we could have gone with defense percentage. Um, this one's pretty good. From here on out, we're gonna go with the defense. And I have another one that's a little bit better with crit crit damage. We're gonna go with the Geo Cup. It's not that great. <laughs> it's pretty bad actually. And we're gonna go with the crit. Oh my god, this is pretty bad. But yeah, we're gonna go with crit damage here because I have a lot of crit. If you know how to utilize the four piece for Petra, this is very, very good. Noblesse is also a very good option if you don't have a character using the four piece to give attack boost. Because ultimately, Albedo. Yes, he can do main damage, but ultimately he's going to be, in my opinion, a support damage dealer. But that's not a bad thing at all. His ult, from what I've experienced, I'm using this weapon, which literally has no benefits. Like, it's not even in his top, top five. Okay, so the Lion's Roar, I'm just using it right now because I don't have the new weapon. I'll be getting it, hopefully, <laughs> at the mercy. But yeah, so I can use this, and I did use this, but I dropped it, and I had... I wasn't having an issue with the energy recharge. Like even without the sword, when I was fighting against like four or five enemies, um, I was getting all the energy back before his ult cooldown was back up, which is 12 seconds. We'll talk about the cooldowns and all that stuff. Or you can go two piece, two piece with the split of those, or you can go with two piece Petra and two piece Glad as well. As for my goblet, you wanna go with the geo damage bonus. And we'll talk about the substats when we talk about his talents here. As for his normal attack, yes, if you have like Constellation 2 or you Constellation 6 them with like an R5 five star weapon, a new weapon, yes, his main attack is gonna be pretty damn good. But for a C0 with a four star weapon, normal attack damage doesn't scale that well. Ugh. So, but, but don't just look at the white damage and be like, oh my god, not, not this shit again. No, no, you gotta factor in his elemental skill. So if there are enemies within the circle of Solar Isotoma, Isotoma, Isoto ah, fuck it, man. Let's go. And when they take damage, any damage, burst, even uh, Oz's damage, normal, charged, plunge, all damage, okay? The Solar Isotoma will generate transient blossoms. This thing deals AoE Geo damage. You're gonna see a clip of when everything is cluster clumped up, 
it's just like it just he just goes brrr with that thing right there the transient blossoms all right aoe geo damage and it's based off albedo's defense compared to what we had from the leaks the transient blossom damage the scaling got buffed this is great yes it can crit but attack is not going to bolster transient blossoms damage. All right, let me go fight some hilly girls. Let me just show you guys. People were asking about energy. When the transient blossom deals damage, it's going to give energy. And this happens every two seconds, as long as there are enemies within the solar isotoma and they take damage. You see the orbs. So every two seconds. So in its most basic form, just to simply put it, as long as I do, look at that. You see that geo damage particle? So that's how he pretty much generates energy, not only for himself, but of course, a fraction of it to the rest of the party. And this thing lasts 30 seconds and you can even hold it to aim it, to place it wherever you want so that you can make sure that there are enemies within the circle. And when you switch to another character, it's, it's busted because you can switch to another character and it will still deal transient blossom damage every two seconds off of any damage. And that is just added damage. So you can kind of look at this as Fischl's Oz and it, I think it's just very reliable source of damage. Um, I did stack the shit out of defense. Um, I did go with a defense. Yeah, right there, right there. Yeah, I went all the way. <laughs> but at the end of the day, um, if you check out the math, you want to go with four, the sans position defense is going to win out over attack by about 10 percent so yes defense here but here you want to go with either crit damage or crit rate and for the main stat for the goblet once again is going to be geo damage let's talk about his ult for a free-to-play player at constellation zero uh, without having an r5 five-star weapon you're not going to get like some crazy high numbers all the time as a free-to-play at constellation zero without an r without an r5 weapon or a five-star weapon elemental burst damage i was what hitting about 2000 no no not 2000 holy shit 20,000 um 17 to 20,000 to 25,000 this does scale off um attack so bennett does help same with fatal blossom damage bennett will help with that even so like i wasn't like feeling like oh my god albedo is weak for a constellation zero free to play players it's gonna be less than 50 percent well it really depends on how fast you can ult i know it has a 12 second cooldown but it has a two second cast time so it's gonna be 14 seconds you gotta also count in the switch character switch time and any delay you may have with whether you're dodging something or just repositioning because you want to position albedo in a way that he's looking towards the enemies because it's going to be dealing aoe geo damage in front of him the elemental burst damage the fatal blossom can go behind but it's not it's not too stupid okay we try with venti's ults and it, it just pops man you just see it and then, oh my god i'll show you guys a clip it's nuts Whew. let's talk about constellations constellation one more energy i don't really feel like that's needed i even dropped like 60 percent energy recharge i was doing fine of course against one single target it's gonna be a little bit different you're not gonna be ulting back to back unless it depends on the rest of your team like if you have bennett for example his elemental skill is on a relatively low cooldown and official things like that so yeah Energy recharge, I didn't really stack it. I dropped it and I was fine. If you need it, um, we could talk about the weapons. Constellation 2 is where like the whales will have fun because yeah, as long as you have enemies within the circle and you deal damage, grant albedo fatal reckoning for 30 seconds. Each stack goes up to four stacks. Look here. So it doesn't increase albedo's defense. So it's not going to help with the transient blossoms damage but it's gonna help with almost everything else like dropping solar isotoma or dropping the ult so like i said for the whales starting from constellation 2 they're gonna see you know bigger and fatter ults and then of course constellation 3 as well as constellation 5 constellation 5 is going to make the ult even stronger so that's why i said this with this you're gonna see whales you're gonna see those crazy thumbnails all right doing massive damage yes can can constellation zero still achieve good damage yes but um majority of the damage for albedo for the whales are coming from the ult here constellation four is pretty interesting Klee can go up there and drop down and do pyro damage increase it by 30 percent and you know we we don't know what's going to happen with zhao oh and this is going to also work in co-op so for the whales 
this with Zhao, I guess it's going to be a great boost. But we don't have Zhao right now to really see for ourselves. Constellation 6, pretty much flat out damage increase as long as they're in the Solar Isotoma and have crystallized the shield. Party members get the extra damage. So here, here, and here will increase his burst damage. So it's going to be not 40% of his damage, but it's going to be a lot more for the whales. And the passive, yeah, we didn't talk about the passive talents. His first talent is very useful when it comes to damage because transient blossoms deal extra damage, like an execute when they're below 50% HP is going to deal 25% more damage. So you're going to notice bigger crits every two seconds when your enemies are within the circle and you're, you know, blasting them with Visho or whoever you got, you're going to notice bigger transient blossom damage so you got to factor that in not just his normal attacks and right here using his alt will give elemental mastery great utility 125 elemental mastery for 10 seconds remember it is a 12 second cooldown but there's the two second cast time and this thing right here is an icing on top getting 10 percent chance to receive double the product that is cool as well. As for his weapons, the best weapon is, of course, going to be the new one that is up in the banner. Even, oh, why am I melting here? <laughs> what the heck? This one, Summit Shaper. That's a pretty cool name. That's going to be the best weapon for him. I'll make a separate video if you guys want to see that with the weapon. But even without it, I was blasting today, having so much fun and doing the work. I, I'd even include the part about the elevator, right? Like how you can pretty much avoid damage. And you can't ignore his shields as well. But the best weapon, without a doubt, even without being shielded, is going to be the new weapon because it has attack percentage baked into it. And um, yeah, we don't have like a crit or a crit damage one on the sword just yet. The second best um, is going to be Aquila Favonia. Unless you need energy recharge, then it's going to be Skyward Blade. For the four-star weapons, the flu is going to pull out a little bit, a little bit higher than the Black Sword. If you need the crit from the Black Sword so that you can use like a crit damage cup, that's cool. If you have a higher refinement, if you've been, you know, refreshing that battle pass, then go with whatever higher refinement you have. The difference is so small. Um, yes, the crit damage sword is also good if you picked it up from the shop. I'm using right now the Lion's Roar and I'm not getting anything from the passive and still doing fine. I just wanted to see if I needed the energy recharge or not. I don't. The Favonius is also pretty good if you need the energy recharge, but when it comes to the craftable, uh, free-to-play weapons, the Prototype Ranker and Iron Sting. Iron Sting has a better effect, but Prototype has better, of course, base attack and like i said yeah unless you're going to get the new gotcha weapon or you have the aquila favonia the rest are pretty even steven uh once we do have the new four two um not 4.2 but 1.2 weapons um i'll get back to you guys about those as well those are my thoughts for this genius let me know down below if you guys pulled for him if you like him um he is definitely not shit. I did not watch any of his trailers. I, had, I went into this with very low expectations and I'm extremely happy with this guy um, in terms of his aesthetics, his voice lines and his performance and what he brings to my group without being at level 90 constellation 6 R5. Anyways, that's going to be the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you guys smack this video a like, subscribe to the channel, enter for the giveaway, whatever. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitch, Twitter, on Discord, as well. Your boy Zeal's out. Peace.